from my heart, I tend to go all over the place because it's such an important issue, the closure of these most precious hospitals. In my lifetime, in the last 10 years, I've had one nephew in intensive care who's had a heart valve replacement, age 13. I have a child I carried has had two kidney transplants. I have seen one of my other children five years ago, along with my daughter, 29 days apart, both in intensive care. Five years ago, this month, I also ended up in intensive care. I wasn't expected to survive, but I'm here to cause havoc. Because, because I admire every one of you for being here, but this chap here, if you forgive me saying, I'm not very good with names. He speaks my language. He's got my passion to get the word out there. And all of you are the voices. Mr. Slaughter cannot on his own be the newspapers, the TV. These doctors are worn ragged. I live and breathe kidney failure. 13 long years. I can tell you what it was like with labour, not perfect, and they roll out over and over again, Staffordshire, Staffordshire. They don't tell you about Southampton that saved my nephew's life. But, and, and he's on a life-limiting illness along with his sister, who will also need major heart surgery. They don't tell you about Charing Cross and how since this government has come into power, they have let it run down the dialysis unit, that it's not fit for purpose. The doctor's own quotes. People of your age sitting tied to machines five hours at a stretch without any food, freezing cold, holes in the ceilings, rusty radiators, lack of blankets. That is not including me sitting for 27 hours straight paying £300 for a room to nurse my child and her donor who they took her kidney out and had her thrown out within three days. Not because of the doctors, not because of the nurses, because they were 16 beds short. I have seen the difference. I lived the nightmare. It's not a short-term illness where you get ill and you go away. This is day in, day out. People's lives depend on these hospitals. Now, if they shut Hammersmith a &E, and my daughter on a Sunday cannot get to a dialysis unit. They're closed on, uh, on a Sunday at Charing Cross. So if they close the A&E at Charing Cross and there's no dialysis on a Sunday, we are left with Hammersmith. Because of the nature of how difficult this illness is, generally they're not touched by your local A&E because there'll be complications. You get what they call potassium overloads. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, if there's no A&E, and my daughter's heart stops, or your daughter's heart stops, or your grandchild, because we, we've got to reach out to the young. I cannot tell you. On one last note, I'd like to say this. I came into this very, very late, partly because of caring responsibilities. I am here, I am alive. Yes, my health is brilliant, but I want to thank the team of ladies that are out there of an age where they should be resting up. They should not be on a Saturday in the freezing cold, putting their hearts and souls for you people, for your children, your grandchildren. Join the fight, sign up, get involved, be there outside Charing Cross, 14th of February, with your cakes and your hearts. Save our hospitals. 